everyone. My guinea pigs previously lived in CNC cages. So what these are is basically just mesh storage grids and you can use them as a guinea pig cage. So that's sort of used as the fencing to go around the cage and then you use something called Coroplast or Corex to line the base if you like. So I used to use this as an accommodation for my guinea pigs. I used to have several groups of guinea pigs but now I just have one herd living together. So they moved accommodation and things have changed and I no longer use the CNC grids for anything much but I thought I would show you in this video things that you can make just using the grids and perhaps if you no longer use CNC grids and you have a load left over then this video will be helpful to you. So yep, let's get started. Aeroplane. Why does this happen every single video? So first of all I'm going to be showing you how to make a hay rack for your guinea pigs and rabbits or either or. For example if you have a herd of guinea pigs it would work better because it is quite a large hay rack or even two rabbits it would be a good size for them. So you will need six of these grids from, I think I got mine from meshcube.co.uk, I'm pretty sure, I will link it down below. You can also get it from Amazon and eBay too, so that's just what they look like. You'll also need some connectors or even cable ties if you prefer. I find that connectors make it more of a solid structure than the cable ties do. It tends to be a bit more flimsy with those, so I prefer these, but either would work just as well. she manage that? I'll have to rescue her. Oh, she made it. So for this next DIY you're going to need only two grids and two connectors. You may also want some material of your choice such as a piece of fleece or a bit of blanket or a towel or something like that. So for this next DIY you will only need one grid, so what you need to do is get some sort of tool, wow that was very specific, no I don't know, what tool would you use for this, I can't remember what I did, basically you just need some sort of tool or a very strong person to bend this grid and I suggest if you're young get an adult to help you, disclaimer, <laughs> so then I don't know what would you use to make it but once you've got it into position it should look something like this this works really well as a hay rack you can cable tie this to your existing CNC cage for example you could have it hanging up like this or you could put it like that and make a tall hay rack also if you've got this against a CNC cage I suggest putting a bit of Corex down the back of it because otherwise it'll all pour out of the cage and you'll get it all over your floor so using the same frame you can make this into a tunnel so all you'll need is a bit of material such as this fleece bedding and then you have yourself a little cozy tunnel so this would obviously work much better on a fleece bedded cage or even if you bring them out on the grass it would be a good little cozy tunnel for them to keep out of the sunlight and it would also be fun for them to run in and out of For the 
next DIY I'll be showing you how to make a shell for your guinea pigs or maybe if you have smaller bunnies it would also be well suited to them but it's probably better for guinea pigs as it is a bit smaller and more appropriate for their size and just them in general. So you are going to need four CNC grids and some connectors to join the grids together and you will also need some cable ties. Now I also suggest you have some piece of lino or something and this will be used for the level part of this shelf. So because the previous DIY was more tailored towards guinea pigs, I thought I would adapt it a little bit and show you how you can create something similar for bunnies instead. So thank you for watching this video, I hope you found it helpful and maybe you've got some ideas for what you could create using any leftover grids. I will be doing a Q&A video on Monday, I'm just going to try it out at first, see if it works and these questions are not meant to be personal or so much about me but more about caring for an animal, so for example you could ask me something like how much do guinea pigs cost, how much should guinea pigs eat in a day, what should guinea pigs eat in a day, anything about rabbits, hamsters, gerbils, any question at all that you may have related to caring for animals. So I will be choosing a few questions now. The questions that get the most liked I will be answering. Thumbs up any comments that you think would be good in the video and we will see how that turns out. So yeah, bye guys!